Welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm going to show you how to bait up a mackerel fillet. You're going to need a few things for this. You're going to need a very sharp fillet knife. Be careful with knives. Obviously the cut, you don't want to cause any injuries to yourself. Bait elastic, fisherman's best friend. Your mackerel of course and your rig. I'm using a pulley panel. Using size 2 long shanks. And the first thing you're going to be doing is you've got a, on the side of your mackerel you've got a fin here. Just lift the fin up, cut straight down until you hit the spine. You'll feel the spine, don't go too hard on it. Just cut down, down to the spine. Angle your knife a little bit and slowly keep pushing against that spine, but go sideways, obviously. Down the side of the fish, all the way up. Just keep going, take your time. Keep going, slide all the way up. This mackerel's a bit frozen, so it's a bit hard to do in a minute. But just keep going all the way up the spine. Take your time, take your time, keep going until you get the fillet off, pull the fillet off. Oh, that one messed up a bit there. There we go. Right, there's your fillet, nice mackerel fillet. Obviously, if you're fishing for big fish like taupe in summertime, use a whole mackerel or a solid piece of fillet like that will do great on a big hook. But all you do now is get your mackerel fillet. I like to cut it in half, don't need to do massive baits. And then get your fillet again, cut down the middle until you've got a lovely nice piece of mackerel like that. And what I like to do is get my hook, the bottom hook. What I do is, I'll show you now through this way, I get the hook, slide it in there like that, pull it round until the hook comes out there, see it? And straight up the shank there, make sure the, the mackerel's up the shank there. And then you can hold it down with your finger, get your bait elastic, very fine thread, and just slowly whip it round. Don't have to do it mega tight, just keep wrapping it round, wrapping it round, wrapping it round, up the shank of the hook like that. Just keep wrapping, wrapping, and as you can see there, the bait's getting tighter. Oh, the bait's getting tighter around there. So keep wrapping. Wrapping, wrapping all the way around, give it a good few goes around. Just make sure it stays on that shank there. And the one thing that I can't stress enough is make sure your hook point is always showing because you don't want to have a missed opportunity of a fish because your hook was hiding behind mast inside the bait there. So make sure you keep wrapping it around like that until it's on and off. Simply snap the bait elastic, see if your is hook through there. Bit elastic around the shank of the hook, and what you do now is you get your top panel hook there, slide it down like this down the line to the water bait, and I wrap it around about four times. So you go one, two, three, four, like that. And then all I do now, top of your bait there, just nick it in the very top there and pull it straight back around there. And then just pull your line a bit tight, make sure it's tight. And that's the first one there. So you've got a hook that side, a hook that side. Some people like to have the hooks both on both sides. I like mine to have on the opposite side because the fish like to stick on the bottom, there's a chance there. Or if a fish comes from the back end of the bait there, I've got a chance there. So, next one I'm going to show you. Let me just take this bait off here. Off this, just to show you. On this other one. And this is a new baiting tool that's just come out recently. You can get baiting needles, which are great, but somebody's come up with this genius idea. And this one's from Baitmate Fishing Solutions. You can get this off eBay. I got this off eBay for about six quid, and it came within two days, and it's quite fantastic quality. So all you do is fill it, baiting tool. Simply, just sort this out. Get your hook, put it through, nick it through your bait, and just go around like that. Okay, like you do at the beginning. Get your baiting tool. There's a little nick at the top there, and that's where you slide your hook there. Okay? And just keep everything tight. And what you do now is, you get your bait elastic. Oh, this one's 
second. Get your bait elastic and then just keep so it's come off there. Back in that groove you go. Let's get your bait elastic and keep wrapping it round, wrap it around the bait and the baiting tool, okay? So wrap it around the baiting tool. The hook's still there in that gap there. See the bait elastic around there, wrap it around the bait and the baiting tool. Just keep wrapping it around like a sausage. All the way around like it did before, but on the baiting tool as well. And just keep wrapping around like that. Wrap, 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 wrap. All you need to do, just keep wrapping it. Wrap. All the way around. Not your bait elastic. Now this is the bit. You get your bait and you slide your bait off. See? Slide your bait. Slide it off. As you can see there. Hooks out nice and proud. Bait elastic around the bait. Very nice. And then all you simply do is just get your panel rig again like you did before. Like that. Wrap it around once, twice, three times, four. Straight back through the bait again. So it's back through. Give it a bit of a tight. You can see there. The hook's out nice and proud. Bottom one's out is fine. And that is all to it really. So make sure you guys, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to see some more. Because I will be doing more videos as me sea fishing. Bait ups, more bait ups, different types of bait, uh, rig making, and just other general sea fishing ideas. If we get any new things come out, any new ideas that people come up with, any questions or anything, please leave a comment. And I hope you guys have a great new year and be lucky.